First thing, this is a radical symbol. If we have a number under it, let's say 4, this could be pronounced a few different ways. Some may pronounce it root 4, others square root of 4, yet others radical 4, or sometimes I even pronounce it rad 4. So just understand we're all talking about the same thing. Moving on, sometimes we have what's called an index of the radicand, sometimes we do not. If we don't have what's called an index of the radicand, and that's this blue symbol here, this blue 2, we assume it is the root of 4, the second root of 4, square root of 4, or radical 4. So we can also write this 2 as the index of the radicand to be specific about designating the second root of 4. Now, one thing about how your calculator will render an answer. If you type in radical 4, your calculator will give you the answer, answer of 2 which is considered the principal square root of 4, just called principal square root for now. Some teachers, however, will insist that when they put a question on that's radical 4, they want to see this 2 and negative 2, which is also correct. And you can also rewrite this as plus or minus 2. So just be mindful to adjust to your circumstances in your particular class. One last thing I want to mention, I'm trying to avoid variables as much as I can in this calculator series of lessons, but if you run into the square root of x squared, just realize that's the absolute value of x. Now you know for your quiz.